The crash has changed my life. Um, I know what I want to do now. I know I want to help people who have been in my situation. She was a checkout chick at the local chemist shop and now she's actually at uni, you know, studying to actually help people that have gone through similar experiences with her. She's out mentoring people, she's making, doing talks um, and she's found a really fulfilling future. I didn't really know what I wanted to do before my crash, I just kind of went job to job. In particular with Holly, she was flagged through a medical outpatient department to say that Holly was interested in returning onto the ward to be a peer support worker. Early days in my accident, I needed someone to look up to. I needed someone inspiring and I wanted to be that. Her role here on the ward was around talking about her experiences. My accident happened and I was 22 and I was in a brain injury ward. It's, it, was, it was scary. I wanted to be there for people like me so I can, I can kind of show them that it's okay. I guess that's where I really saw Holly shine um, in terms of her empathy. She found that really enjoyable very therapeutic to be able to share her story. And somewhere that she can actually go and work. So she's found a real positive out of having this experience. Some of my best friends now are from mentoring them um, in rehab. Because of the meaningful relationships that Holly had um, with this patient, Holly was able to, I guess, put her mind at ease in terms of, I've been here, it does get better. My routine at the moment is ongoing recovery, <laughs> ongoing appointments with, you know, physio at brain injury and, you know, a little bit more so I'm balancing uni on top of that, only part time at the moment. Holly has rebuilt a really positive independent life and that's wonderful to see. It's great, you know, she's at uni and enjoying her studies, um, her social life's going well. You know, she's made so much progress, worked through that anxiety. And even though we see a very different Holly now, who is very capable, very able of, um, to do things, very driven, always new ideas and wanting to continue to do things, um, there are still some things for Holly that she uh, struggles with on a daily basis um, that aren't visible, that people may not be aware of, but they are very real for Holly. We leave at 12.30, we get there at 1.30. 1.30 to 2.30, 2.30 to 3.30. So I need a taxi to pick us up at 3.30. Mm -hmm. To 3.30. Driving to uni is a big thing. And then focusing at uni and then the drive back, like that wears up my mental fatigue quite quick, where I can't do much for the rest of the day. Just seeing how, what her outlook on life has become, she's a lot more appreciative of what she has and how lucky she was and I think seeing how motivated she is to help other people makes me pretty proud. There's a few times we've just reflected on it and just realised you know what a long way we've come and um, yeah how we've sort of pulled through and, and got there. I think the journey you've, you've been on they're probably the highest moments. to me and talk to me about the fact that she wanted to keep sharing her story in different ways and how would she be able to do that. And we see it all too often where people are a little bit of inattention has resulted in, in lives and families being destroyed. Mm -hmm.